as if rocking an extreme corset weren't enough, Kim Kardashian also had to walk around Monday's star-studded Met Gala on her tiptoes. Dot inviting Vogue to her fitting two days before the soiree, Kardashian, 43, revealed that she would be wearing high heels with no heel under her Maison Margiela dress. The Skims founder then explained the reason behind the clever idea. It's clever because if I had a shoe with a heel, the heel gets stuck in the metal skirt, she told the magazine. So that was our issue of walking, she then showed off the altered pair of clear platform heels that she'd be balancing on for the duration of the event. So I'm going to have to put these on, and to wear these, you're on your tiptoes and you're balancing the whole time, flexing your calf muscles, Kardashian explained. She would be walking on her tippy toes like a professional ballerina. But I think ballerinas do it and they probably have a lot of practice, Kim said, adding that her pre Met Gala fitting would be her only practice. Kardashian, who stands at 5 foot 2 inches, was willing to sacrifice comfort because she felt that the look needed height. Giving the shoes a test drive, Kim told the cameras, We gotta do what we gotta do. I can't lean back and I'm on my toes from here on out, on Monday night. She wound on lookers while displaying her impossibly slim waist in the silver custom Maison Margiela by Jean Galliano number at the annual soiree. Despite landing on numerous best dress lists, the mother of four faced fierce concern from social media users, with one person predicting that she'd be in the hospital by the end of the night, and another asking, how many ribs did she get removed? Others fed into the rib removal theory as one said, did she have a rib removed? Good lord. Dot another made reference to the body transformations the Skims founder has undergone for previous Met Galas. They wrote, Kim Kardashian does it again, I wonder how she breathes with that hashtag Met Gala. They seem to be referencing one of Kim's most iconic looks at the gala when she looked impossibly skinny to wear Marilyn Monroe's classic dress in 2022. Kim was seen struggling to breathe in her 2024 Met Gala look and video capturing her preparations for the soiree by Vogue. The video began with Kim taking long, slow exhales as she is asked by the director, how's the breathing going? It's an art form. But I got it, Kim replied. Kim previously revealed she undertook course of breathing lessons to fit into a corseted dress by Thierry Mugler for the 2019 Met Gala. She gushed, I learned so much about couture from this genius man, Thierry Mugler, it was beyond couture, it was art. Seven months in the making and fittings in Montreal, Paris and LA corset breathing lessons from none other than Mr. Pearl? It was worth it all. Although Kim has not confirmed if she underwent a course of breathing refresher lesson, Mr. Pearl has previously worked with John Galliano, who designed her Met Gala outfit this year. Kim traveled straight to Europe after the fashion bash as she was scheduled to speak at the 2024 OMR Festival in Hamburg, Germany on May 7 and 8. I went from there to the plane, Kim, who also recently appeared at Tom Brady's roast explained at the festival, according to People. Slept on the plane and here I am, she added partying wasn't really for her, it was really good to not go to all the after parties. It's not really my thing to go out so it was the perfect excuse, because I really wanted to come here. Dot proving she really can do it all, Kim landed in Hamburg at 3 p.m. on Tuesday after walking the red carpet at around 7 p.m. New York time on Monday night. Germany is six hours ahead of New York making her two appearances just 13 hours apart. The flight time from New York to Hamburg is around nine hours.